Hi traders, welcome to Elite Currency. My name is Chris and as always on uh, Sundays, Tuesdays and Thursdays, taking a look at Euro Dollar and Pound Dollar. Let's start with the Euro Dollar 4 hour chart at this moment. Price is uh, testing a support trend line, actually bounce off this support trend line and the 38.2 Fib missed it, missed that Fib by a few pips there, but that can happen of course. And uh, you can see that bounce, but now price retesting that support level. So from my point of view, still a bounce spot, potential bounce spot, and there could be an expanded wave B. Let me show you what I mean with that. This could be an A, this could be the B, and this up could be the C. Of a bigger A, let me do that in a different color then, of a bigger A, B, C, all right? From my point of view, there's a good chance of five waves up here, as I already mentioned in the last video, and I think that we can get that ABC. I've been talking about that as well already uh, for a while that, you know, with the breakout here, we should see fifth wave and then ABC back down to complete a bigger wave one and two. All right. I know a lot of wave analysis but in this particular spot of the, the market. I think it is relevant. All right. So uh, I'm not necessarily always talking about waves, but wave patterns. But in this case, I think it's, it's useful. So uh, from my point of view, the 50, 61.8 fib could be bouncing spots for upside again. Taking a look at the hourly chart though, let's get rid of this fib and take a look at the lower time frames. And uh, we do see, in my view, five bearish waves, which could be a wave A. Therefore, if we put the fib on this wave A, all right, price already stopped at the 38.2 fib, that could be a bouncing spot itself. So, you know, that's a little bit tricky. Has the wave C already started? That is possible too. But the wave C can also get, the wave B could also get extended and we can see a push up to the 50, 61.8 fib and then fall. So those are two kind of primary, primary ideas at the moment. Uh, foremost ideas is a bounce, a bearish bounce, four hour candlestick patterns at the 50, 61.8 fib zone, resistance zone. Or if price makes a bear flag here, for instance, or breaks and then makes a bear flag, there could be a, a continuation trade of that uh, wave C uh, or a wave five still possible as well by the way uh, even though it looked like five wave ended here more importantly is just the fact that whether you know what not so maybe important what the exact wave count is but more important is either a break and bear flag or a bear flag that's the the pattern i will be waiting for and then a break of that should be a decent continuation possibility on on the euro dollar all right but if price flies up like this starts to make a bull flag and then breaks that there is a good chance for it to get to these fibs so it's a little bit of a tight spot at this moment because of the triangle formation because of these support and resistance trend lines are pretty close by we have also support on the left still that could build a potential head and shoulders here inverted inverted head and shoulders so from this point of view um the break down and up the breakdown is better the break up i wouldn't be trading in fact i think that this could be a bounce spot as I said, candlestick pattern on the four hour chart. So if it does break, uh, and if we, could, if we get a candle like this, then a breakout also seems a little bit more likely. That is a pretty strong four hour candle. And when we get candlesticks like that, those typically do get some follow through. Uh, unless there's like a bullish candle like this, another bullish candle, another doji, then the breakout starts to become a little bit less likely. Uh, but if we do get the breakout, then you know also what I'm looking for. Minus 61.8 target primarily. So uh, that is the main target. Whether it's right away or after a pullback, that remains to be seen. So that's my view at the moment. It's bearish. Uh, I wouldn't expect price to break above this top, which is the invalidation level of any wave B for ABC zigzag at least. That is the invalidation level. The invalidation level of upside is this bottom right here. All right, that's the, this is a wave one, two formation, unless price breaks below this bottom. If it breaks below that bottom, we need to zoom out to the daily chart and get rid of this fib like this. And in that case, uh, it uh, basically seems likely that the wave four is being extended. For the moment, it seems that the wave four is finished. Like this, we have a wave three at this moment, whether it's from here or here, doesn't matter. Price bouncing roughly at the 38.25 for a wave four. 
at this moment it looks like the wave four is completed when you consider this upside but if price does break below this bottom then the wave four is still active let's take a look at the pound usd pound usd um, had a little bit of volatility around this this top of the break a break at the top sorry uh and i was warning for a false breakout and uh, it had a false breakout or at least it had a breakout the first attempt it didn't go too well because we had a pretty sizable correction all the way to the middle of this zone but then the second breakout obviously uh, as you know those that follow our breakout techniques know is more reliable indeed price making some good upside after that all right i didn't like personally the volatility that it had here so i i skipped this one myself but um it was for those that traded it it was a good breakout second breakout at this moment i would probably be looking for a pullback to these purple lines again i know that that might sound difficult at this moment but a retest i think would be great and that would be you know interesting to trade so i would rather wait for abc wait for the bounce so that could be an interesting uh, long setup there i know that that you know could take some time maybe that's even next week because look at this now you don't see that candle too well so let me get rid of these lines for the moment look at this bullish candle and could this bullish candle get retraced yes so it would be neat if it got there or roughly there i could we could put a fib on this candle and of course this candle is not closed yet we still have two trading days left but if it closes anything like this or higher i'll put a fib on the candle and uh, wait for a price to get into the 61 38.2s fib zone and look for daily candle bounces in that zone that's my uh, plan at the moment this could still follow through with some upside i'm not saying that this is necessarily over right here but 135 round level is resistance also when we're looking at uh, weekly uh, time frames like this you know it is generally speaking i think no wait this is monthly sorry generally, speak, generally speaking it is at a resistance zone right so although it could still push a few more pips i would not be uh that enthusiastic about the upside potential with 135 so close i would rather wait for this retracement i'm not a big reversal trader so i wouldn't trade it uh this bounce personally uh, but you know if it hits 135 big bearish engulfing twins i know that some traders might think about that reversal trade there all right i'm not really the, the type for that uh, but uh yeah it's some traders might do that i think that uh if it breaks the support trend line as well by the way that could be an additional factor for a breakout down to support and then i'm expecting the bounce all right thanks for joining uh, this video check out elitecurrency.com for more free material and analysis wish you good trading cheers